to do this really glam makeup look as you can see I have really shiny eyes going on and that's because I used the new Australis metallics eyeshadow this is a cream formulated metallic eyeshadow this is in the shade JZ and it's this really beautiful olive gold tone I absolutely love it and I didn't think I would like greens on me but I actually really like this olive tone that I have going on right now so um, yeah, I think this would be perfect for a night out, a special occasion, anything like that. Even for like a formal or prom if you have that coming up. But um, yeah, if you want to see how I achieve this makeup look, then just keep on watching. So as always, I'm beginning with my base. I'm using the Face of Australia Face Base Primer to prime my skin. And this is just going to make sure my foundation lasts all day long. Next up, I'm taking the Astralis See Later Pores Spot Primer and I like to use this to minimize the look of my pores. So I apply this mainly in the T-zone area of my face. For foundation, I'm using one of my current faves. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Stay Fresh 24 Hour Foundation. And as you can see, I'm dotting it all over my face. And I do it like this because I find that I have less product wastage when I apply it this way and then I just take some fix plus to my Sigma flat top kabuki brush and blend it all in Conceal and highlight, I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. That is such a mouthful to say. But as you can see, I'm applying that underneath my eyes. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about this color yet. The shade that I picked up is light warm, but I feel like it's a little bit too light for me. But for now, I'm just going to deal with it. So I have applied that in all the areas I want to highlight and conceal. And then I'm taking uh, a damp beauty blender and just blending that into my skin. Once I finish blending all of that in, I'm then going to go ahead and set it. So I'm doing this new little trick that I learned from watching one of Nikki Tutorial's videos. So what I'm going to do is uh, take my Australis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder in True Translucent and dip my Still Damp Beauty Blender into that and pretty much just apply that underneath my eyes. And I'm telling you guys, if you do this, you will have absolutely no under eye creasing. And then for the rest of my face, I'm just going to set it with the Australis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder. On this occasion, I decided to use a contour stick, so I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me. It's actually a foundation stick in a really dark shade, but I like to use it for a contour. So as you can see, I'm applying that in all the areas I want to contour, so the hollows of my cheekbones, around my big ass forehead, <laughs> uh, a little along the sides of my nose, underneath my lip, um, along my jawline, and then I'm taking my Real Techniques contour brush and dampening that with some MAC Fix Plus and then I'm just going to work at those areas to blend them into my face.
After that, I decided I wanted to contour my face a little more with this middle contour shade from the Australis Contouring and Highlighting Kit. So I'm just applying that to the hollows of my cheekbones again and underneath my jawline. And then onto the brows, I'm curving through them so they are a little easier to manage. And then I'm going with my favourite brow kit. This is the Models Prefer Essential Brow Kit in the shade Medium to Dark. And I'm filling in my brows because, let's face it, my brows don't look too fab until they're filled in. And then once I'm done filling them in, I'm going to take my favourite, favourite brow setting product ever. This is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper and I'm telling you guys, if you don't have this or you haven't tried it, you seriously need to go out and get it because it will change your eyebrow game for life. Moving on to my eyes, I am taking the star of the show, which is the Astralis Metallics Eyeshadow Cream Shadow in the shade JZ. And I'm using just this small Sigma, I think it's a concealer or a small foundation brush, but I find it works best with this type of formulated eyeshadow. So, as you can see, I am just applying that on both of my eyes up to my crease. Then I decided to go in with my transition shade, which was Salted Caramel from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm just running that through both of my creases using the Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush. And the reason why I did this after I applied my lid colour is so that it would help to blend out the harsh edge that that cream eyeshadow kind of gives off. So then I decided to go in with Gilda Ganache and apply that to the outer corner of my eye. But I decided to stop that for a second because I wanted to add something more to my crease. So I took Semi Sweet and I'm running that through the creases of my eyes but not as blown out. Like I'm kind of concentrating it in there a little more just to kind of balance everything out and bring the colours together a little better. And then once I finished doing that, then I continued on with the Gilded Ganache shade to the other corner of my eyes. And then here I'm just taking that same E40 blending brush and blending all the edges so they don't look so harsh. And then I decided to go under my eyes and run some of Triple Fudge along my bottom lash line. corners of my eyes I decided to use the shade creme brulee to highlight and add a little bit of glow to those areas then I went in with some eyeliner so I'm using the Savvy by DB soft glide eyeliner in brilliant brown it's this really beautiful warm shimmery brown shade and I love it because it's not as intense as a black pencil liner but it still looks really beautiful I'm going in for the winged liner. As we all know, I'm a big fan. I'm down with the winged liner. I love winged liner, so I always do a winged liner. So for this one, I'm using the Rimmel Scandalize Precision Micro Eyeliner, and I actually really like this stuff. Um, it was my first time using it, and I really like it. For mascara, I'm using my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm still loving this mascara. It's still going strong. So I'm just going to coat my bottom and top lashes to prepare them for some falsies I'm going to apply to them. For lashes, I'm using the Ardell 120 Demi Wispies. I don't know if any of you guys know, but these are probably me, probably, probably my all-time favorite false lashes. 
to be honest, I wasn't really sure what blush shade I wanted to use, so I just went with NARS blush in the shade Sin, and it actually turned out okay. So I'm just applying that to my face with a Real Techniques blush brush. And then, surprisingly enough, I didn't use a shimmery highlight. I'm actually using this product by Models Prefer. It's a mineral powder that has like shimmer, like very, I don't know how to describe it, like really minimal shimmer throughout it, which is which is hard for me to come to terms with because you know me, I love my shimmery highlights. So after I did that, I am applying some lippy liner. <laughs> lippy liner? Who calls it lippy liner? Um, I'm applying some lip liner. This is the Savvy by DB lip liner in the shade Natural. And as you can see, I have lined my lips and filled them in. And then I am now applying some lipstick. So I'm using the Essence lipstick in the shade Oh So Matte, but I found this one to be a little too light pale on me. So on top of that, I put another Essence lipstick in the shade Barely There. And I think I kind of like how this one turned out better. <laughs> That is the end of the tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something from this video. As always, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already so you can stay updated with all of the videos that I upload. As always, I will see you all in my next video. Take care.